What is up, guys? My name is Callan Canfield. Today, we're going to be doing Trainiacs' train drawings, how to do them. Because many people really don't know how to do these types of drawings on PC. So, you're going to start out by typing in Trainiacs.net. Enter, and it will bring you to Trainiacs' website. It's right there if you don't know. So, we are going to click on Drawings over here. Scale train drawings. Go down to where it says railroad or drawings. I mean, sorry about that. Go down to where it says undecorated right here. Right there. And you're going to click undecorated by type. So, drawing type is undecorated drawings by type. Select this scale. So, we're going to do 155 because I think it's the smallest of the all of them. Or the biggest ones. And the biggest ones, for you guys wondering, are more easier because the smaller ones are like, they have more detail on them, but they're like, they take longer to do. So if I can click that, I guess we're not going to click it. But I'm going to go down. Let's see, which engine do I want to do? There is a lot of choices on here. Let's do... um. Wow, this is really hard. Let's go to GE and do a um dash nine forty four CW or dash eight. So a CX dash eight comes up just like that, and we are going to be painting this today. So don't you guys go away. I'm going to click out of it, drag this onto the desktop, click OK if this option for you guys comes up, and it's right there. So we're going to, oops, drag this over so it won't take up any space. All right, right click on the GE-8, open with Paint, Microsoft Paint, and it brings you to right here. And this is where you want to be so you can paint the locomotives. That you have, because you see this is your locomotive, and the paint options are all right here. And then once you do a lot of drawings like this, I draw, I drawn a few of these. So yeah. So all these are like some of them I have. So if you would like stuff to come out, like if you get really good at this stuff, you can do stuff like that. Now, for you guys wondering, I did not paint this particular engine, because I'm not that good yet. This is copyrighted, I think. Yeah, but you can get stuff like this. I did not draw this, so yeah. But I did do this one. Wait, hold on. I did this one right here. Little custom UP engine. I did this customly made Ohio Central Lines OCL 2207. I customly made this one, but that's how you get stuff to look like that. And here's a Northwestern engine that I saw. Now, this one right here, I did not really know what I was doing when I first drawn it. So I just drawn it and I thought it looked good, so I just put it on here. But yeah, let's get into, oh yeah, and there's one more engine. Oh, I really, oh, wrong one. So I think it's in here. Oh, there it is, I found it. Hold on. Just exit out of that real quick. You can have stuff looking like this. The Centineo or DD408X. I drew one of these, but I didn't draw this particular one. I drew another one just like this. But anyways, let's get into the real drawing mayhem. So we have a CXS GE-9, or dash 8 here. And we're going to paint it for CXS. So we are going to just get our yellow out here. And like these big spaces right here, be careful. Because like if you click that, this whole space is going to go yellow. And you press Control z and that will get away. So just say I clicked all these lines. 
I don't want to click these. If this happens right here, click Control Z, and all of your mistakes will go away. So we are going to just paint these just like that. The big spaces, just paint them uh, yellow. And then, oh, that's supposed to be black, I think. Cut on. There you go. But we're going to, instead of drawing the old CXS engine schemes, we are just going to draw, we are going to do the newer paint scheme. It's supposed to be a little bit easier for the sake of the video. So we are going to draw the newer paint scheme for the older engines. So. And then, like, see, the, see all these white spots right here? Instead of, like, individually tapping all of these, you can go to your eraser options, click a full size on it, and the first color has to be white, and the second color has to be the color that you want to paint. And with this, it will not mess up any of the details as you will paint. But, if you, if you have to right click on it too, but if you left click on it, that happens. You will get a nasty yellow color that you really can't get rid of so we uh, control z get rid of it and then we have to right click on all of this so it will be all one color and then we have to get the blue out with the paint bucket and click it like that and that is how you do it just like that just keep clicking and then you like get that out the blue color. The first color has to be white, second color is blue, and then you click this and none of the detail will go away. Get on there very precisely, just like that. And for the bo bottom of the locomotive, we are just gonna go ham on it and just color all that in. So when you right click on all of this stuff and it like yeah, like that when you right click on it it's just gonna not take away any of the detail as for if you left click on it it's gonna take away pretty much all the detail so get back out of that paint some more of it But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And for the wheels, if you want to paint for CXS, I think they're gray. But nor the cleaner ones are black, but then they fade off to gray. So to paint the wheels and the axles and the trucks and the um, plow and the couplers, you just go up to first color white and then the second color is gray. And you just right click and you can pretty much get all the detail. Or you can color this without covering up the detail. Because as if you guys know. Let me just go out of that real quick. Because if you guys know. If you like left click on it. It is like nasty. And you don't want to do that. As my cursor flies off somewhere. Well yeah you just like do all this. And you guys might know. You might be painting like this. And it goes down into this white space right here. So, to get rid of that, you have to get the green out and paint that just like that so you won't see it. It's a little track screen. So, when we get the gray out and right cl click on it, nothing comes up. As if we right click on the, all the white spaces, it does come up. So, that's a cool little way to get rid of that too. So as we keep coloring all this, but yeah, that's pretty much how you color it though. 
I'm not going to color this whole train because the essence of time. I do have to go somewhere in a minute, but yeah. That's pretty much how you do it. So, I completed all that locomotive, just like that. And you guys might be wondering, well, Kellen, how do you paint, or how do you write numbers and letters? So, I'm going to show you that real quick. And then in the video, so we have you have to go up here where it, there's like a little A key right here, or like a little A letter. Click on it, and then you can do whatever you want with your numbers so we're gonna have it that big click all yellow on it because cxs has yellow and blue and we're just gonna this engine 4572 so 4572 and if you guys don't want the end of the number the number is really not that big so we're just gonna erase that and you can bring this like cursor down so it'll be better It'd be smaller, more realistic. So, yeah, just like that. Left click out of it, and you have your numbers for your engine. And yes, it won't go away. So, we're going to do the CXS right quick, real quick. We're going to bring the letters back up. Because, as you know, the CXS logo has to be nice and big so you can see it. Let's make it a little bit bigger. C S A nope. Let's go with thirty or forty. How big is that? So C S X. Just like that. Bring it up. It's right there, yeah. So now I have your C S X. You can color this back blue again, if you want to finish it. Let's go ham on the body, as I say. And, yeah, but that's pretty much how you paint train axis trains. But remember, control uh, Z is always going to be your best friend when doing this. Because, like, like, if I just mess up like this... Do control Z and it gets rid of it. But yeah, I'm gonna make another video on this sometimes about more of my Trainiax drawings. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the future. Please like, comment, and subscribe what you like about it, what you didn't like about it, and hit the notifications button so you can be instantly notified when I upload another video. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.